Il n'y a pas d'humanité sans technique. Il y a même beaucoup species qui manipulent les tools. Mais la humaine species is that with some tools we can make more tools and which what is important is the speed at which we have managed to evolve our tools and our techniques and the power that we're trying to acquire with those tools this is where we find the connection between technique or techniques on the one hand and ethics and uh, the care for others on the other hand the concern for others. It was not immediate. For a very long time, techniques were thought, as Plato used to say, as art useful for life. Techniques helped us adjust our existence, improve our existence. Traditional art had a function which was very close to that of art. But things started changing deeply with modern times, starting at the end of the 16th century and the beginning of the 17th century, people like Francis Bacon or René Descartes made things change. Our Western civilization started developing techniques which were unheard of in all the other civilizations. And our society thought that with techniques, the condition of all humankind would be transformed. We would no longer suffer from any kind of finiteness. And as René Descartes said, we would become immortal. Nowadays, there is a transhumanistic ideological current which actually inherited those ideas, giving techniques a, an unlimited mission the mission to go over all kinds of limits. And unfortunately, this means that we're coming up against the notion of ethics. It's fairly easy to understand, but I would like to first give you a reminder of the ideology of progress that Bacon and Descartes were the first to describe and shape. Also, this became later a secular kind of philosophy, not at their time, but in the 18th century, 19th, 20th century. Technical progress becomes automatic. This is the so-called ideology of progress. And at the time, it was thought that scientific progress uh, would lead to technical progress, and then industry would only improve the well-being of humankind. And this was simply automatic. And if there was automatism, there was no reason to think about others and can have concern for others. It necessarily would lead to better life for humankind, except that the atomic bomb came and then mustard gas. And more recently, in the last 30 years, we started thinking about environmental progress. And this puts an end to the ideology of progress. If, imagine, we were to exhaust all kinds of fossil fuels or resources, this would lead to an average increase in temperature on planet Earth of 16 degrees. And obviously, this would be the end of the existence of all vertebrates, which we belong to. If we don't set ourselves any limits, if we don't move away from the ideology of progress, if we don't start questioning again the legitimacy of uh, techniques, progress, uh, and uh, harm that can be done to others, we are headed for a disaster. We have to start thinking again, or even maybe for the first time, because the mission was seen in a very simplistic way in the past, but and things were slow. Now everything is going fast. Techniques are improving very fast. And in some places, we have to start thinking about how to move away from the ideology of progress and techniques and the automatic way this is happening, and also the rules of the market to impose limits on ourselves. The first author who started thinking about this was Hans Jonas, when he talked about the principle of responsibility with a twofold objective. When a new technique appears, 
we have to think about the possible consequences of this new technique, disruption, destruction of the existence, the condition for existence of humankind on Earth. And also we have to think about the consequences of this technique on the quality of human life on Earth. Again, if we go back to the ideas of our transhumanistic friends, if we think we can live for 500 years, can you imagine the depletion issue issues we would be facing? Only a few people would survive, imposing on the others not to survive for a very long time. Some Many people would live for a very short period of time to allow a group of people to live for a very long time. Therefore, this is obviously raising many ethical issues. The fact that progress can hinder or even endanger life of part of humankind if we went to the end and didn't impose any limits, we would destroy the interests of the uh, of humankind by destroying the existence of humankind itself. We cannot but ask ourselves questions on the legitimacy of the techniques that we are developing and disseminating throughout society. And the situation is something new that we have to face.